Okay, good morning. Assalamualaikum. On this video, I want to explain to you how to use VLOOKUP and EDGELOOKUP function. And then instead of that, we can use INDEX plus MATCH function instead of VLOOKUP or EDGELOOKUP. This one is very very powerful indexing for database, especially. So if you if you do the database uh, things, I think this one is very 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 useful for you to use. Okay, over here, uh, this is the result. Okay, I delete first because I make a practice before. I delete this one. I'll delete this one. Okay. Over here, now we have the two columns. This one, the database, the database of uh, or something. And then now we want to make the VLOOKUP. Let's we copy this one and then paste to this column. And then we make the random number, okay, and drag to the bottom. This one only for exercise, okay. So you no need to follow my random short like this. Just short. Sorry, where is the short? Short, smallest to largest. Okay, we just take the five code. Uh, now we got this five code okay and now I want to show you how to use the VLOOKUP to return the, the number over here the value on the right after this code using VLOOKUP is very easy just type equal VLOOKUP and then the lookup value you must input this code this one for the reference for the bench you want to look up on the database and then comma and a table array remember this table array is very crucial for you very critical you have to put the code number or the code you want to reference of a from the preview cell you have to put that column on the first column okay once again you have to put this code which is this one is reference on the F6 when we input the function you must put on the first column on your table array okay I hope you understand and then do the absolute and then the index column because the first one is the bench or the reference and then the second one the second column is uh, which uh, we want the result so we put two number and then the range lookup there is a two option true which means approximate match it must be ascending order we don't have ascending order and we want the accurate one the exact match so we click the false exact match okay and close the bracket and hit the enter Okay, drag to the bottom. We do cross check. SP01XL with 32 number. SP01, okay, correct. And then ST01XL, it's 80. ST01XL is 80, okay, correct. Okay, very good. And now I want to show you how to use edge lookup. The difference between VLOOKUP and EDGELOOKUP is only the database that given before. VLOOKUP which means vertical lookup and EDGELOOKUP means horizontal lookup. So the difference only the database. So if we want to use EDGELOOKUP we have to transpose this database. Okay, I already tra transpose it. And then equal put edge lookup and then the lookup value the array we drag the array that we transposed before 
uh, same with the V lookup, but this one horizontal or edge lookup. Absolute and the row index C over here on the third function on the third uh, input ties, you can see this there is a row index number, not column index number. So we put two and then the range lookup also false. Hit the enter. As you can see, we got the same result between edge lookup and then V lookup. This one, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So the different only the database given before. Okay. Now, instead of use V lookup or edge lookup, you can use there is a function called index and match. Index and match. Why we use this function when the database this this reference in, is not in the first column? Sometimes we get the the, the reference on the second column or on, or the on the last column or the third column, so on and so on. So let's say we just copy this reference into the right, okay, over here and we hide this one as you can see now the reference is on the right so we can't use the VLOOKUP because the VLOOKUP must be the reference must be on the first column so we use the index and match function first equal you use we use index and then the array okay drag all your database and then absolute and then the row number remember this row number you put the row number is another function is match and then the lookup value your reference this one and then the lookup arrange this one remember just put just drag just block this cell and this column only the reference only okay because this one will return the match at the cell number of uh, what we're looking for of this one on this reference okay look up value already done look up array and match type also the exact match okay this one for the row number and then the column number we put uh, one because we want the result is on the column one later this function is calculating the row number okay from here the row number or this this function will returns the row of sp01xl okay will returns this five and then the column of course we know we want the result from the this one this column so there is the first column we put first so later we'll return the Five, sorry, the B five cell. Okay, I hope you understand. And then hit the enter. I forgot the absolute one. Okay, now we can drag to the bottom, and the result is same. It's identical. It's very nice. Okay, this index and match is very very powerful function you want if you want to do the database extraction or database analytics or further analytics of your database and so on and so on i hope you understand my video i hope this video is useful for you if you like my video just put like on on this video or if you have any question just write on the comment and subscribe my channel okay thank you very much